of Virgos. Hey, boo. So, yeah. Whew. Y'all give me the shrimp for this reading here because I don't know how long it's going to be. Y'all be trying to do longer readings, but sometimes they do require a lot of more energy. Okay. So, y'all know I'm going to break it down to the women and the men. The women, I found the more easier way to do it. I'm going to try to see if I want to do it this way. So, remember to only take what resonate. It will be a female, the female side and the masculine side. So, let's see. Y'all got long home. Rush is a song. It's 2 a.m. Damn, I work better at around this time. <laughs> but I don't think about it. I ain't about, I, do I need me another room? Well, it's cool right now. But, baby, you know, when you start coding and dating and courting, you, want, you, don't, want, you don't probably want to be in your room with because you don't want to wake nobody up. I used to have to go outside. I used to wake up so early in the morning. I'm going to get to the reading. I used to wake up early in the morning. And my boyfriend used to be asleep still. Yeah, I used to go outside. And my, friend, my friends and them used to be up early. And we used to be, I used to love, we used to love sitting outside early in the morning. And when, when I was uh, in my mom's house, street I grew up with it or whatever. I love this sunlight hitting your face early in the morning. That would make me want to get a house. I'm going to sleep scared. <laughs> So anyway, let's get to it. Like too much shades, I'll be paranoid. Okay. So I know this is crazy, but I got reason to why paranoid. Cause baby. Ooh. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, I hope all is well with you. I hope, I hope y'all doing okay. What's up, Robin? If I got an extra channel, I'll be the best here today to protect my energy, my space, and my world. And extra channel about angel light. Anything that's not light is not welcome here. Let's get into it. As the I'm tapping to my Virgos, body, mind, and soul. What is going on, my Virgos? As the chill, I'm tapping to how you want me seeing it, how I want to see it. Virgo, somebody might be keeping up with you. Might be clocking your teeth. You know what I'm saying? Or trying to. But somebody might be moving to come waters. I feel like I have to get out of, or need to get out of victimhood. Okay? I don't want to romance it. And it said, take off the mask. So, what am I going to do for you? Okay. So, what I might do a little different. Okay, so this is going to be for the females. Female. They're going to be taking turns, so ain't going to be a timestamp. So, you might want to just watch it. And let me tell you this, too. Um, women, the female part and the masculine part might be both parts of you. You know what I'm saying? Take a reason that you might get a word in both of them, female. You might get a, a message in both. Okay? So, that was you. Find you some key points or whatever, because I look at it. Sometimes it can be your light and your dark side, your shadow side and your light side. I just... Depending on which how you want to do it. Okay, so let's see for the females. Okay, sometimes we can kill, we can be the killer to our own happiness. And I feel like it's the what you love, them negative thoughts, that gunk that needs to be removed out your life, Virgos. Okay, friend, what's up with this stubbornness? Okay, like I won't change, but it's like y'all, so it's like y'all hold on. You know, okay, you remember like the little girl, right? The picture of the little girl and Jesus, and he was she had a little teddy bear. She was it, and he had a big old teddy bear behind his back. It's, 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 it might be very significant for you, like God, like give me that mustard up little small teddy bear you have, and I'm gonna give you something better. And it could be any parts of your life, okay, friend. Take what resonate with it. It could be a job, it could be a house, it could be relationships, it could be family, it could be that that, that old that old victim mode. That old little beat up version of you. You ain't that no more, Virgo. Okay? Family ain't that no more. Okay? So let's get to it. Okay, he said, I feel like I'm holding on to something. You don't do good with change. And if you don't know, you don't look. I realize that I'd be like, okay. Some people, and I be have to, you know, feel like I be explaining too much sometimes. Like, you know if a message for you or not. 
I'm not going to keep on saying that. I might do until I finally snap out like, hey, look, because it feels like I'm people pleasing. And that's not good. And it's not because I don't care. It's because it's not healthy for me. And you know, we try to break away from it, okay? But the Virgos, I'm feeling, you don't take change oil at all, okay? Especially the, the females. I'm talking to the Virgo females at this moment, okay? But look, okay, it's it. If you don't be real with no one else, be real with yourself, okay? It's it. Everybody can't go with you. Time to get magical. Don't be too logical. Knowing yourself is be, is the beginning of all wisdom. You are beating yourself up over something that's out of your control. And if it is in your control, what are you waiting on? Okay? And it said do things that, that make you smile more. Okay? So now is the time to actually focus on the great things in your life and not the bad. Okay? Because I feel like you hold on to things, connections. Even if you walk away from them, you holding on to them like this. To the point it make you build a, a grudge or make you be, uh, build burials around yourself. Everybody not out to get you, Virgo, women, my females. Everybody not coming to get you, feminists. I mean, everybody not out to get you, feminists. And just because something don't work out, it don't mean that, hey, you know, it's the end of the world. Or, like, it's nothing, like, it's not meant for you to have great things. Or, you know, you're not loved it because certain things didn't work out. No, it's just showing you that, hey, it's a, do you know how many people in this, on this world? It's over a billion. Okay? And if 20 people choose to say, forget Virgo and do Virgo wrong, then it's a lot more people out here in this world. Okay? Like, just get it. Like, once we realize that, hey, the, I'm, I can, people can only uh, hurt me as much as I allow them to. And people can only betray me as much as I allow them to. Because if I don't give you information in, in, in from the jump, I won't have to worry about that anyway. And it don't mean you got to be closed off all the time. No, just choose your battles wisely. Don't be... Uh, and I feel like it was a, a season in your life where... You used to be grinding head first because you might want to be there for people or you might feel the sadness on them because I feel like you got a, a gushy side that you try to control. And some of y'all might build men from the ground or whatever you date. You might help them and then you be resenting them when they when they go do something for, for little Tiffany. Or you go buy them a tooth. They had a missing tooth since you met them. And you go buy them a tooth and help them out because you want your man just to look good for you. Just, just for example. And he goes smile on Tiffany for you. No, because you did him a favor. And let me tell you something. What says, and this says a lot about you because they let you know that you are a good person from the heart. And just because you're a good person and people take it for granted don't mean you change who you are. You get what I'm saying? Because get what? If he don't appreciate it, somebody else will. But if we keep on giving, 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 and get taken for granted multiple times, at times, at times, at times, then we gonna, we don't want to open up and actually be good for the people who coming in our life. Because right in the midst of all of that gunk and all that chaos, God will send you somebody in your life that's meant to be there and meant to get that greatness. And then, boom, what we do, we fumble it. And then now we got to deal with that consequence. Friend, we got to use our discernment. We got to learn how to put the cape on at the right time when God tell us to put it on. Not when, just because we feel, oh, they need help. Some people be going through it because they're going through karma. Because they done took advantage of somebody else. And then they always get, get go, run, across this, run across these good, giving hearted people like Virgos. And they ain't going to just be Virgo, but they might have met a few real Virgos. They might have met a, a few real you that's nice and giving and, you know, very, where you're hard on your sleeve. And it, and it seems like this is like a pattern. You see what I see? You see what I'm saying? Then, boom, they go through karma for taking advantage of you. Then, boom, somebody else meet them while they broken down. And then they doing the sign in the repeated cycle. And then this might be somebody who be very delusional. Oh, well, I don't know how I got like this. I'm always going through this. is because they said taking advantage of great people. And let me tell you like this. The, the, get what the gag is. You got their heart. And they leeching too. And, and they got to go leeching for it because they don't have it. Okay? So, one thing about it, you win anyway. You won from the jump. It ain't just about you winning in the end. You already won. You won when it started because you got so much love in you to the point you you get you got a big heart. You selfless. That's a win-win. And a lot of people going to reject you because of that too because it make them feel like they shitty. Expose other people. It remind them how crappy they is. So sometimes they project on you, try to make you like you the problem. The whole time they know they the problem. But let me tell you something, what, 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 what I love. 
What I love, weapons may form, they will not prosper. And one thing I love about God, that God always in our business. Because get what? He see what they do. And even if they cast stones at you and drag your knife through the mud and try to make you be the villain when they actually the villain, the truth will set the truth will be set free in God's time. Okay, so what you can't control is that, that ain't got nothing to do with you. All you can do is just live your life, friend. And I know it's irritating. I know it's frustrating because I know you want to sit in your own blood. I know you want to hold the people accountable. I know you want to be angry at them for years and years and years. But guess who is hurting? You. Guess who can't live their life? You. And if you do, you still in survival mode. When you going to survive? Get out of survival mode. You be in survival mode so much to the point you can't live. You can't go enjoy these, these connections and no matter where they go or not and just let your discernment lead you. Let your, let your intuition tell you what's going on. Because get what? We think the protection that we put on ourselves, which it, it do work because we ought to get keep our life as well too. But God protects you is way better than us. This is one prayer I like to say. God, if it's for me, allow it to happen. If it ain't for me, don't allow it to happen. And let me tell you like this, and I don't say it all the time, but I, I say it a few times. Let me tell you like this, every time you get a chance to think about it, say it. It will protect you from things that will harm you, okay? And sometimes, let me tell you something, God would, like, we don't got to walk with burials. All we got to do is set boundaries and stand on your boundaries. It don't matter who it is. Don't change your boundaries up for nobody, Right? You don't got to live with bur bur uh, burials because God got your back. Even like, if you don't trust nobody, trust God. If you don't trust yourself, trust God. But you got a lot of trust yourself too because God going to move through you. He going to send it to your spirit. How you think you're high yourself? Your high yourself is connected to God. Okay. What is for my family? <sighs> It said, you are confused yourself because it's like you wishy-washy with what you want. It said, everyone has a sad story. What's so different and special about yours? This is you sitting in victimhood. I feel like you have a hard time letting things go. I feel like it's an eternal thing because it's an inner child thing. It's like you try to fight for being so vulnerable, like vulnerable is bad. But vulnerable actually good is you need to change the way you view vulnerability. Okay, and this is why I feel like you have a hard time moving forward and letting things go. Because your inner child is holding on to and your inner child be sad. And you might look at it as weakness because you are sad over if, if somebody leave your life or you have to cut somebody out and just part of being human. If you love somebody, you love somebody. And it is what it is. You get what I'm saying? You don't take your love back just because you love somebody. You get what I'm saying? Love is beautiful. Love is powerful. You don't change who you are just because you can't control how you react to it. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, like it said, hurt people, not hurt people. You are bigger than it. You are better than it. You are who you are meant to be. You are meant to wear your heart on your sleeve. You're not meant to be a caged up individual. But it's up to you to, to realize that. Because if you do... Continue being it. You're going to always be in this victimhood. You're going to always be in back to the square, like going back in this cycle. You had to break the patterns because it's unhealthy for you. And it control your happiness. That's why you convert back to anger. Some of y'all angry. Anger. Some of y'all be sad. You might fight depression. You might don't. You might be, you got too much pride to say you depressed. Some of y'all want lovers and say, hey, I don't want no love. Some of y'all want happiness, but you say, you, you you happy by yourself. But God, like, sheesh, what I see you is sad at night, or, you, or you're mad. Even on days, you don't got no reason to be mad. You can be blessed and have the fact you can have all the money you want. And you got and you, some, some sadness coming back up. Why? Because of your inner child now, please, baby. You're trying to control something. You're trying to push some out. And so we were just like, get out of survival mode, feminine. Okay, so when the ego wins, the emotion will eat us up. Karma. So, hey, you can be the little all you want, friend. But spirits got something to say that, hey, it's time to be real with yourself. Okay, so we will, we'll be back at the, at the feminines on the next portion. But right now, it's going to be um, on the masculines um, with these cards and this deep. Okay. I feel like falling in love. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. 
I want a romance and I need a prescription. Y'all yeah, be forgetting I, I deleted the tourism video off my phone. And I, um, something might be significant for Taurus, but, um, uh, it just came up. I couldn't put that on my shorts. Sometimes we have to create other shorts. I get tired. I be having so many videos. I'll be trying to make space. So let's get to it. So this is going to be for my Virgo men this session. What is the over our message? Ooh. Mm. Some of y'all might be becoming more stable. You might got something stable coming in. Ooh. After you being fulfilled. Some of y'all learn how to not be codependent on relationships as well, too, or something like that. Some of y'all might be showing up for yourself or spirit calling you show up for yourself more. Okay? If you like a success story coming unfolding for my Virgos men. What's going on for my Virgo men? Virgo men. Be careful with listening to other people at this moment, too. Because some of y'all might got some haters around you. Be careful. Because people like, might try to project this this insecure or sad or scariness on you. I feel like a lot of y'all might be fearless anyway. But don't listen to other people. I don't care if it's family members, people who know more than you. Whether well, they know more than you, cool. But some people can know more than you and take advantage of just because you listen to them. Just to lead you down the rabbit hole. So go off your intuition. The only person I feel like you need to listen to is God at this moment. And if he sends somebody away, ask him to give you confirmation of their message from him. Okay? Because you might got some squares in your circle. Come here and get them squares up out your circle. What'd I say? Shh. You're talking too much. Okay? It said move inside. I knew I just didn't feel the energy. No, I ain't crazy. Come on now. Okay, so let's get into it. I feel like you got some stable. You're, gonna, you're moving forward from being so... Wishy washy. I heard my old wishy washy. And my little buggy. Some of y'all might be moving forward from somebody that was wishy washy. Feel like somebody that could have been a S U L T. I mean, guess S L U T. My bad, y'all. S L U T, baby. Somebody was a slut buggy. Might been, might not. Somebody who tried to play innocent. Don't have to be. Don't, no disrespect to that, y'all. I just talk. I'm just going from, we talk like this. We talk all type of, I'm very vulgar. Try not to be too much, but like if you from my neighborhood, you from where I'm from, my city, we talk, check everything, and we don't be made no harm. Is that me, my mom watch? Okay, look. Okay, it said, don't listen to others. Projection is real. God time is an hour time. Time to get magical. Don't be too logical. Faithful type. Ooh. Heart people, not hurt people. What are you holding on to? I'm wondering some of y'all might be holding on to some type of resentment. I feel like you might be holding on to your heart. You just like, uh-uh, heart been broke so many times. I, I don't know what to believe. Hey, mama say it's my fault. It's my fault. I wear my heart up on my sleeve. And I'ma put my heart on nice, heart on nice. Cause I can't breathe. I'ma put my heart on nice, heart on nice, getting the best of me. So yeah, first off, so like you always really say, I've been, uh, I've, we say I've been lied to, backstab, been heartbroken, lied, but I was too afraid to open. Yeah, it's like it was because like you was too afraid to open. You say you want to cry, but you're too afraid to open. When you're too afraid to open, you attract other people that's too afraid to open. People who. Be a player. I don't want to be a player no more. Somebody might come around trying to push, you know, or you might don't want to be a player no more. Okay, where you might be closed off. And this is what I say. When you focus on something you don't want, you end up getting it more than the things you do want. So choose bravely. Be careful what you, what, you, what it is you sit in. If you sit in and say, I don't want no love. I just want you. I want the holes, the clothes, and whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Or you got that mentality, the bros before the olds. You know what I'm talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. H-O-E's, you know. And, but when you had that mindset, there really ain't a good mindset to have if you want a relationship or you want a partnership. And I feel like a relationship might snuck up on you, okay? And it might made you, you know, you might push your, you might just lay your guard down a little bit. Because I feel like you don't let your guard down too easily. 
for nobody. And it might be bothering you a little bit, like, you know what, they took advantage of me. They played with me a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You know how I many females I could have had? Don't you know I could have dogged you out? But you didn't. And then right there let you know that that ain't even you for real. You get what I'm saying? Look, when you when you, when you watch people and see what they would rather do versus what you want them to do. And I feel like, you know, you somebody might have did some stuff that they wanted to do and you see their true character. Like, man, normalize and seeing people exactly how they is. Normalize, if you can't accept them from it, they, they now, they now present or them in the present, not what you got to change or, oh, maybe time will change now. Can you accept it now? If you can't accept it now or you got a problem with it now, then you're going to always have a problem with it. Okay? Yeah, because I really feel like you could be a good person. Virgo, but I feel like my masculine, you might got something good coming in. This is why spirit saying don't listen to other people and don't listen to the inner voice in your head that make you self sabotage things. Open your heart. It's good that you wear your heart on your sleeve. It's happening for a reason. Look, it's are you reflecting or are you pointing fingers? You met somebody. You didn't meet that person for no reason. You you manifested that. You you attracted that because you was in that energy. Okay. You a player met a player. Uh, 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 but somebody got commitment issues, made somebody else with commitment issues. Somebody with trust issues, made somebody else with trust issues. Okay? So, it's, it's very important to watch what energy that you putting out in the world. Okay? Some of y'all might want some more stable. Or you want somebody going to show up for you, and it's time for you to show up, though. Yeah, because some of y'all might be beating yourself up a little bit right now. And it, this is not the time... To beat yourself up. This is time to love yourself. Because if it weren't for the old version of you or whatever that version of you, they got sacrificed in their connection or whatever, they little hurt that you just could have received or could have been passed in something that you need to let go of, you won't be where you are today. Look, it's everybody can't go with you. So spirit has to show you. Like I'm trying to push you more to reliable things. Okay, so you this might be a season of loneliness. It might be sad. Okay, look, it said do things that make you smile more. Because I feel like you got something in you that's very bright. And Spirit wants you to focus on that. Instead of the, the things that make you sad and mad a little bit. Or you holding on to a little anger. You know what I'm saying? Look, choose what you want. Okay? Don't focus and focus on what you want and not what you don't want. Okay? Now is the time. So y'all miss just kind of little... Y'all message kind of little, okay? Let's see, we'll pull some more cards. Damn, I miss money. Sometimes we can be the killer of our own happiness, and everybody can't go with you. So you got to start looking at it like rejection is protection, okay? What is the bottom of my deck? Laugh at your problems more instead of studying them so much. And it's a mirror moment. Look outside yourself and you will see yourself. Look inside and you will find and you will find yourself. Who are you? So now's the time to really look inside yourself and see who is Virgo. Who is masculine? Who am I for my masculines? Okay. So when you really when you start checking yourself more and you start reflecting on everything that's going on with you, it's time for you to look at a situation like, okay, this had to happen. Okay, what what have I learned from this situation? What I learned in this situation, what I didn't like, and what I did like about this situation. Because I feel like it helped you open up more. It lets you know how selfless you are in this connection. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, it revealed your love of boy side. You know what I'm saying? It lets you know that you can be a gentleman. That you got the capability to love one person and like one person. One person can't be enough. But and just because they one person act up, sometimes we, we have to learn. We have to go through somebody. You know, sometimes we have to go through that, they learn that, that karmic, to learn karmic lessons so we can move towards somebody, whoever God got for us. They end out, be our person. They, they love a girl, they match my, my love a boy. Okay? So, will you, will you like somebody who's going to reciprocate the same energy? But first, what we'll, we'll, we'll we do, we got to go through some, we got to meet some, some bad people to appreciate the good people, right? We got to go through a lot of lessons to to recognize the blessing. Because sometimes you might was overlooking stuff and you might want seeing some of the stuff that God had in your face. So, now is the time to release those control issues and release those grudges. Because it wasn't just your fault, it wasn't just that person's fault. You play a major part in two divine, uh, two masculines. 
okay? You got to play a part. You play a part too, master. Like, what do, what have you learned from this situation instead of you focusing on what, what made you angry? What did you love about this person? What did you love about this connection? What did you love about this job? You get what I'm saying? What did you love about that, con that, um, that relationship, like that connection, that friendship? Because even though it made you open up, what made you open up? You need to ask yourself and, 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 and think on it more instead of thinking on the negative. Okay? So we're going back to the female portion. Let's see. I want a romance. Some of y'all could have been dealing with Libra for my females or don't have to. Or some of y'all just getting some type of justice. What else for my Virgo women? Mm. Controlling. Matter of fact, I'm going to do the women. Okay, we're going to do the women and the men. Do the women on one side and the men, man. Is somebody missing you. <laughs> And it might be somebody it is at a crossroad. They might be missing with somebody new. I don't know. I'm feeling that energy though. Feminine. Somebody wanna to talk to you, feminine. They could wanna talk about their actions. Okay. This is somebody who can't move on. So now they wanna to come towards you. Okay, I feel like y'all could be talking to somebody new though. I feel like this your tease. And if you choose somebody, ooh, be careful. You got to choose bravely, uh, Virgo women. For the feminists, you got to choose bravely because you might be going through a test. And God going to see who you choose. And if you choose that past person, baby, you might have to deal with them and sit with them. And you might miss one, but it's this new person. It, okay. Let's see. There ain't enough room. I start drama to get some attention. She started. Somebody like to get reactions out of you. That's what it means. Both lips. Somebody trying to get your attention. Is it take the mask out, baby? But you got a secret of mind. You got a choice between two, Virgo. Or more, more than one option. It's it used to get in my way. And I want to tell you so much. Somebody can come in and gaze like you. They're going to lift you up and drop you down again. It's up to you. What do you want? Okay. Because just because you can't make it, you can't make it an excuse there. Okay. Well, you know, I'm trying to do better, but they keep coming my way. That's what discipline play a part in. See, God going to see what you rather do, what you rather do versus what you, what you, what he wants you to do. And some of y'all, I feel like y'all might fall for the okie dokie. Some of y'all might not. Oh, I'm feeling a negative energy. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like the energy I'm feeling. Yeah, smiling, keep from crying. My heart yawns for you. It's like y'all keep on putting yourself in this, this cycle. You keep putting yourself in this karmic bind. Yeah, <clears throat> there's somebody who might got a side cheek, or you might be the side cheek. And they're not sorry. You got somebody who come in and prey on your emotions, play, uh, play on your top, somebody who don't. Treat you like you should. You gotta see. Yeah, can you forgive me? Somebody wants to come in and beg you for your forgiveness. But I feel like somebody ain't a good person. I'm feeling negative ass energy in my spirit. I'm going through a spiritual awakening. And it said, Force to change dark night of the soul. Somebody can be <clears throat> going through a dark night of the soul right now. Okay, yeah. Somebody want to come in because they want to elf you. Somebody wants some of the good good, okay? And Spirit saying that's all they want. I don't know how to tell you I miss you. Okay. Look, this might be somebody that you didn't deal with before. Okay. So. The, the ball is in your court, feminine. I feel real negative ass energy. I ain't gonna lie. It's real negative. It's out of my heart. Irritate me a little bit. I'm at this. I'm here. I'm get out these energies. Let me out there. Again. What's going on with my masculines? Masculines, somebody might be studying you or you might be studying someone else. A mask. Oh. I feel like 
feel like you got something good coming in. I feel like a, a more stable foundation, master. You got somebody who you could have moved away from, could think about you more than usual. It might be somebody who has many child wounds, but you got somebody who worth your while on the table too. What if I told you I love you? I feel like um, you have a choice to choose between. You got options to pick the room. <clears throat> I feel like they're good. That their, their new love is gonna be in between all of it. It's gonna be he in there. Look, he said you haven't met me yet. And a lot of my karmic. So some of y'all dealing with somebody who got somebody else. They might got baby daddy drama. Or well, they don't have to. It's just like, they might got some side dudes. I feel like, yeah, it's like, you don't really probably want this person. Some of y'all might be getting, a little, getting a, little, a little head off somebody or whatever. Or you might be trying to treat them like trash. But Virgo, if you know you don't like somebody, why create karma for yourself masculine? You make me want to be better. It's like you might be taking advantage of somebody. It's like when they come, you might care for somebody, but you try to act like you don't. Or somebody, you ain't fucked up about somebody. But yeah, this dark energy might put you in a loop, keep you in the bind too. So be careful with it. It's weird. If you don't want somebody, this might be time for you to move away from them. Yeah, it's, I've been through a lot. This might be you. Yeah, I feel like somebody could be in their mind a lot. Yeah, you might be in your mind a lot, Virgo. Mask, as I said. Yeah, I can look at you out there. You got a secret of Maya somewhere. Or it might be somebody that you're looking at when they looking at you. Okay, I have a hard time moving on. I'm having a hard time moving on. I'm having money issues and chasing your inner cycles. So somebody you could have been dealing with, they also might be obsessed with your looks, your body and looks as well, too. So take a resonate with it. But you got somebody who pulling on your heartstrings is weird. Like, somebody might want to come around and want you to chase them. I feel like, I don't know, somebody might, you might have to break away from some type of illusion. It's time to end a cycle with somebody that's scared of love. Okay? And this might be a baby mama of yours. Okay? I feel like they got other issues. Who they might got an addiction of lying. Somebody might be trying to beg for your forgiveness. I feel like you got a woman that might be chasing you, trying to study you, trying to see what you want. Yeah, I feel like you got more than one person studying you with this mom mask. It's always keeping up with you. I told you, they study you, trying to see what you got going on. Somebody else, I want to know, that you, are you talking to somebody else? I feel like this is a real lust phase connection. Real lusty. Yeah, what I tell you? I'm your karmic lover. I can't stop thinking about you. And drama queen slash king. Somebody who very messy, like to start up stuff. Some of y'all might want to be single because of your bitter baby mom or you worry about you don't want to, you know, you just don't want to, you know, trigger nobody. But I feel like you might do something on the low. You might talk to people on the low. I guess I need closure. Healing right now. Yeah, somebody who might be very immature. You can dealing with somebody that can be very immature. Okay, somebody who very sexually attracted to you, but it's like, damn, what else do you want? Okay, this might be somebody who try to control their feelings and emotions for you. I feel like this is not a person that, that's on your level. I feel like you're a little more mature than this person. But they can become a very annoying. I feel like a lot of y'all want to focus on your healing right now. I feel like a lot of y'all finna start doing things different. I'm seeing somebody changing up their wardrobe. Just, just get becoming more, stepping in your grown man era. Okay. Yeah. Some of y'all might be making making some official soon. That's my mask. When you light up my uh, life, I want to keep being a player, blushing. You're not the only person I want. Somebody can like you a lot, they can care about you a lot, and still don't want to release this control issue or this player energy or whatever they got going on. Somebody also might be getting money from somebody else, okay? So I start, money, I start drama to give them some attention. Yeah, you see, let's run away and start a new life together. Yeah, what I tell you, you got a secret of Maya. Some of y'all got something new coming in, but... You might have to close the chapter on a, a toxic ass person that's in your energy. Okay. 
So, let's do this Virgo in the hole. Let's see if it pulls some sexual cards. 18 plus. Give a read. Mine ain't gonna be doing the same either. I'm getting a little hungry. What else? What's for my Virgo in the hole? What does somebody get to say, Virgo? You're too much for me. That's a sign right there that when you need to move forward. I kiss whatever you want me to kiss. Uh, whatever you want me to kiss. I kiss wherever you want me to. What do you want my kisses? You make me so happy, yeah, child. Go on. I feel like somebody gonna appreciate you, Virgo. I feel like this is a new a new lover appreciate y'all. I love your smell. They love a lot of shit about you. Okay. Late night meetups. You might got somebody might be trying to pull on your heartstrings right now. Bend it over for me. I feel like this new love, it's not going to be super sexual. Might be somebody who might take their time. Somebody who's not rushing. And I feel like it's a past person. They might be rushing you. Just just like try to, like they gaslight you a lot. Versus the new person. The new person, you might think the new person gaslighting you the whole time. They just really telling you how they feel. It's like, yeah, that's what I'm getting in my heart, y'all. Let me see. I feel like, you get, like it can be real. Even they gaslighting a little bit. I feel like it's just the way they flirt. I don't get no, like, manipulate energy. Y'all, but look at this love is unconditional. Somebody might got a small thing now. It's like, what else they will do? But I feel like, they, like, baby, somebody might be very kinky. It's like, don't judge a book's bad color. I feel like something being hidden from you on purpose. It says sex is always on my mind. Like, even if somebody got it on their mind, it's like, uh, it's like, they still, I'm hearing they value you different. Oh. Okay, so do you have sex with him or her too? So somebody coming around trying to be in your business. Somebody feel like you're giving it to somebody else. Okay, it said you have some of the best sex to me, my love. And it said, do they do it better than me? Yeah. So you got somebody who, would, who, who like, who wants somebody that compare themselves to the next person anyway? For one, your confidence level ain't, ain't up there enough. So you, they let you know that it's time to move away from somebody. Okay. So I hope y'all take resin. Oh, oh yeah. Since y'all the last one. I'm not going to be fair for my other ones, but it is what it is. They really ain't going to be the same. Not with me. Let me see. Somebody not can start with an N, an S, a D, a P. I feel like an old love going to come right when a new love come. E, a Q. In the R, don't have to be. In the H, they give you their name or yours. Okay, it said, pour you up a glass of wine, boo. Relax and enjoy the moment. Okay, so Spirit saying it's time for you to focus on you. Don't focus on things you can't control because they have nothing to do with you. Okay, I got some more to make too. Tongue kissing, you nasty. Er, somebody might like to kiss. Somebody like to lick on people too. Some with their tongue, baby. Can I make it juice set for you? And make it juice set for me? Okay, ooh. Yeah, my friend said, do you want to take some of this D? Yeah. Okay, it said, you are a good person. You deserve good things. Period, Virgo. So, that's something that you need to learn and remember, okay? I think it's a freaky card. It said, pull my hair, smack my ass. So, somebody might like a little, a little rough. Why well, I'm reading this, uh, uh, I hate you, I love you, I hate that I love you. Yeah. Friend? 
Somebody want you bend it over for them. Bend it over for a real ninja. Okay, they go for, you know, take the rosy resume. But somebody want, and very up mean, you might be telling somebody else to do that. It's going to get real kinky soon, okay? So I hope y'all take a resume and leave. Do not. I'm going to talk to you later, friend. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to talk to you later, friend. I'm a little sleepy. I'm trying not to go to sleep. But baby, I'm going to find me something to eat.